Good morning. Today's gonna be another quick one, harvesting and packing. Here we go. Okay, we're just over at our neighbor's plot doing a little bit of harvesting. Mark's getting some patty pans and zucchinis. We're gonna crop out these two beds of radishes and I think we're gonna have to trim our uh, the branches on our squash plants there because they're infringing a little bit too much on those beds there. So we'll wanna fix that before we replant them again. Roger and Alain will be by today and tomorrow to finish our tomatoes. We've got a ton of tomatoes to harvest here and at the other plot. Besides harvesting today, we are hoping we can transplant some of our lettuce at the plot that we're gonna go harvest from. I think what we'll do is when we go there, we'll bring the plugs to plant and we'll harvest and then one of us will stay behind and plant. And right now I'm going to seize the time that it's nice and cool in this greenhouse and harvest all of these shoots. I got radish, sun, I might leave the pea for another day to get it a bit longer. So we're still just getting as much done here as we can until we gotta go out and harvest lettuce. I just finished harvesting shoots, just drying these guys on the screen a little bit. And um, as these are drying, I set the timer on my phone so that I don't dry them too long. I just go set a timer for three or four minutes. I'm in the back picking basil. And then when my alarm comes off, I come back, throw that basil in the cooler, and then give these a little turn until they're done. Just over, heading over to our Lawrence Avenue plot. I got a trailer load full of Salanova. Mark's got the truck and all the gear. We are harvesting a bunch of Salanova, two full beds, and then one of us is gonna hop on the bike, take that back to the cooler, then come back, and then together we're gonna both just hammer out all of those plugs into the ground. Here we go. Just finished cropping out that lettuce and there's seven totes there. I'm hoping we have at least 90 pounds. I'm thinking it might be a little bit less. But that was my guess yesterday is 90 pounds. So when Mark gets back, he'll let me know how they weigh out. He's just taking them back and putting them in the cooler. And now I'm gonna get started on getting these beds ready. <laughs> Okay, we finished planting one bed. Turn the water on to uh, water it in. We're gonna head home for lunch and then I think our plan is going to be to come back here tonight, work a longer day. We're gonna go back and wash veggies and pack and then um, we're gonna come back here tonight after dinner and maybe two hours is all we need to put them in.
Okay, so that came out at an hour, exactly one hour, two guys to wash 90 pounds, which actually turned out to be 80 pounds after they were washed and dried. So that's pretty good. I think we can, I, I think uh, it's good to have these benchmarks because I think what we can do once we improve our flow a bit more, we can get that to one guy can do it in 45 minutes, like say 90 pounds, or maybe let's say 100 pounds one guy in an hour. We're gonna, we're gonna strive for that and see if we can hit that benchmark. What we're gonna need to do is change our, the way our, our spinner works, and there's a guy down in Eugene, Oregon named J Jeremy Mueller. When I was down hanging out with him, when I was at the last Mother Earth News Fair, I saw how he'd modified his washing machine. He took the top off and it was open, so he had a standardized um, bin that just looked like a garbage bin, but it was a food grade bin that you just go, you scoop out the greens out of the washing bin and drop it directly in the spinner. It has a mount on the bottom of it and so you spin and then you dry. So I think if, if we can get to that, we can really increase our workflow. So that's going to be our goal. So the rest of the day here will just be spent packing orders, maybe some market stuff, and then we'll probably shut her down around four and then we will go for dinner and then we're gonna go back to our last plot and put in those two more beds of Salanova. We wanna do it in the evening so it has the night time to establish. We're just gonna try a slightly different strategy here. All right, it's 7.30 p.m. and I'm heading back to Lawrence. I'm meeting Mark there. We're gonna to try to slam out these Salanova plugs while the getting's good, while we've got some shade there and a little bit cooler temperatures. It's still 30 degrees Celsius, which is about 90 Fahrenheit, so still relatively hot, but this plot will be in the shade, so that'll be nice for us and the plugs. Here we go. All right, it's 9.20 and we're finished. It took us what is that? Almost two hours to do those. And we're just loading up the tomatoes that Roger and Ellen picked, and that is the day. 